Hello friends, welcome to this new lab. In this lab, we are going to see how to enable VPC flow logs. So in one region, we'll configure one VPC and one public subnet. So in public subnet, we'll configure one instance. So we can access this instance using internet gateway from internet. So in Amazon CloudWatch, we'll create a VPC log group and we'll enable VPC flow log. So whenever we access this uh, instance from internet, it can generate some logs and it will send to Amazon CloudWatch. There we can see traffic flow. So from which IP address it try to reach this instance and uh, what is the action of uh, network security group like either it is accepted or rejected. We can see a few more details in that. So I will explain you in this lecture. So let me tell you one more important thing. So in this lab, I'm not going to show you how to install uh, instances and how to configure internet gateway and default routing tables, all these things. Because in earlier labs, we already covered all these things. So if you'd like to know how to configure an instance and how to configure internet gateway and routing table modifications, you can verify my previous videos. So you can understand how to configure them. So basically in this uh, lab, I'm going to focus only on VPC flow logs, how to enable them and how we can send them to CloudWatch and how we can read them. So let's jump into our AWS console now. Okay, this is our AWS console. Let's see what are the things already I configured. Let's go to VPC. In VPC already I configured one VPC here, which is having 10.10.0.0 slash 16 C idea. And this is a public subnet I configured. And this is a relevant routing table. You can see the routes. One route towards the internet gateway and this is a local route. Let me show you the EC2 as well. This is the EC2 instance and these are the IP address details. This is private IP and this is public IP. Let's try to access this PC through HTTP copy. Paste your here, just hit enter, yes. We can see I'm able to browse web page from internet. Okay, this is the private IP address of this instance. This is the just web page which we have created while installing it. Up to here, this is just a VPC configuration and subnet configuration and uh, EC2 instance. So this is accessible from internet. This is the web page of this server. So let's do our actual thing now. Before uh, configuring VPC flow logs, let me show you the steps. These are the basic three steps we are going to follow. First, we'll create IAM role for VPC flow logs and log group creation in CloudWatch and enable flow logs in VPC. Let's jump into our AWS console now. So to create the IAM role, you can see if you hit on uh, this icon, so you can see all these options. Otherwise, you can type IAM here, it will show this option. So click on IAM. Click on roles, create role. Just select uh, Amazon EC2. For now, just select EC2 here. Here, Amazon services and EC2. Click on next. Here, we have to select the permissions. Just type CloudWatch access. I'm giving CloudWatch full access. Come downwards, click on next. Just give the role name here. I am role for VPC flow logs. Create role. So it is getting created. Yes, our role got created now. 
just click on role we need to modify trust relationship actually just click on trust relationship you can edit trust policy here it allows you to edit vpc flow logs okay come downwards and update policy so policy got updated now here you can see the permissions cloud watch full permissions we have given and if you expand this you can see the code these are the things already allowed and in trust relationship we have mentioned vpc flowlogs.amazon.com so role creation is done now let's jump into cloud watch now cloud watch you can type cloud watch also in search so that you can select that and here you can see in cloud watch log groups click on log groups okay create log group name as test log group i'm giving never expire we can't create so log group got created now let's go back to vpc and enable this vpc flow logs so here if you select the vpc here you can see the options flow logs from here also we can create a flow log otherwise if you select this vpc here we can see the options create flow log both are same so let's create from here create flow log test vpc flow logs and here it is asking for filter like uh, accepted uh, only we need or rejected also but uh, here i am selecting all and maximum admission limit let's select one minute here you can choose the options will it send to cloud watch logs or any other s3 bucket or uh, kinesis so in this lab we are going to focus on only on this so i'm sending logs to cloud watch so here we can see the logs which we have earlier created in cloud watch i'm selected here and uh, just here we need to select iam role which we have created in iam few minutes back that role shows here just let me choose this and this is the default format of logs so actually i would like to choose custom logs we can choose the custom logs also if you click on here so it will ask you to what are the things you need and if you choose here just it will show you the default logs default log format i would like to choose custom format i don't want to uh, show this account id for example so you can choose a custom format and uh, you can choose uh, what are the things need to be there in logs so just i would like to do one thing here let me note down these things so i'm copying these values in notepad i would like to remove this thing and rest of all things should be there so let me remove this and i can choose version interface id let me minimize this and we can choose this notepad we can choose here if you type version enable it is appeared here you can see this and next we need interface id next we need source ip address source address then destination address and we need the source port then destination port for that until here we choose in let's let me choose protocol and packets protocol packets bytes 
and uh, start time. End time. Action. Either this session is accepted or rejected. And log status finally. So this is the format I chosen. Except uh, account ID. Just of all there. So let me click on create flow logs now. Flow logs got created successfully. Let me go back to CloudWatch now. This is the CloudWatch group. Click on here. Select this. There are no streams as of now. Web page. Let's see now. We need to wait some more time. After refresh several times, after one minute, I think we can see some logs. This is our interface. Once you click on this, you can see the flow logs here. These are all the flow logs. So see, uh, this is rejecting, this is rejecting, this is accepting. And if you can see, let me search with my public IP. So this is my public IP. Let me copy this. Go back to CloudWatch and paste over here. Click enter. Yeah. So from my public IP, I tried to reach this PC. So we can see private IP address of this PC only because in not internet gateway only it will be translated as private ip so that is the reason we can see private ip of this pc and from my pc when i tried port number 80 it is accepted and i can see this it is working fine as this server accessible from internet so many other ips also try to reach this server so let me create my ip address so that you can see the other traffic also in my case, it is accepted, like uh, I'm trying to browse port number 80. It is already allowed with the NSG, so it is accepted and it is allowed from NSG level, VPC level also it is allowed. So let me flee, uh, clear this filter, click on enter. And you can see some other IPs also. From this IP address, it is trying to access the server on port number 843. So it is denied in our case, so it is showing as reset. So let me show you the flow default format of flow logs, right? You can understand what are all these things. This is the default format of flow logs. So this is just time and uh, date, and this is version flow log version it is. This is account ID. This is interface, source IP address, destination IP address, source port it is, destination port, this is protocol number, this is packets, how many packets, and this is bytes, and if you see this is start time and this is Unix time, convert this time to normal time format. In Google, if you type this, you can convert this as well. This is in time, again, Unix format. And action, whether this traffic is allowed or rejected. This is log status. Okay, we have successfully completed this lab now. We learned how to configure VPC flow logs and how to read them on CloudWatch log group. So friends, hope you enjoy this video. Please uh, subscribe and encourage me for more video creations. Only your subscription gives me more power to create videos like this. Thank you so much for watching guys. See you in the next video.